when I got the notification today from Harvey on his YouTube channel and saw what it was titled, I literally was shocked. Like this literally caught me by surprise. Now, if y'all don't know who this man is in this image, this is actor Christoph St. John. And his most famous role, of course, was playing on the show, uh, the soap opera, uh, The Young and the Restless. And I believe he played on that show since 1991 all the way up until his passing. And this was a complete shock to me mainly because of his age. He was only 52 years of age. And I'm sitting there wondering, was did he was he sick? Did he have some kind of an illness or what was going on? And I found out that he pretty much drank himself to death. Like he died from alcohol poisoning. You know, that's basically the the I guess you could say the liquid version of an of a drug overdose. And it is so sad and unfortunate that this happened, you know, with this man. And, you know, a few years ago, his oldest son, his old, probably I think his oldest child had committed suicide because, you know, his oldest son uh, was, you know, they put him in like a, um, I don't want to call it a mental hospital, but they put him in like a rehab facility because his, his son had some issues going on with him. And while he was under the care he ended up committing suicide. And I remember that was a pretty big deal at the time because it was a lot of people wondering how did his son manage to commit suicide if he was supposed to have round the clock care. And I don't think he ever fully recovered from his son committing suicide. No parent would, you know, no parent wants to find out that their child took their own life, especially when this is your firstborn. And this was his only son. So, you know, a, a father's always going to have a huge attachment to his boys. He's going to have attachment to his kids regardless. But it's something about that father son connection, just like it is a mother daughter connection. Now, he has two other children, two daughters. And, you know, he was also I believe he was engaged. So he had a fiance that, you know, they he now leaves behind. And, you know, his co-workers that worked with him. I know, you know, my mother and my grandmother, they watched Young and the Restless heavily my mother still does my grandmother rest her soul like that was one of the few shows that she would watch during the middle of the day i remember when she um came and stayed with me and my family uh, a few years ago um years before she passed she would always make sure she watched the young and the restless and it, it, she, she would make sure not to leave the house and make sure that that's one thing that she always did before she did anything that she had to do but, you know, it's very unfortunate what happened with this man. Like I said, I don't think he fully recovered from the passing of his son. And, you know, even though that was a few years ago, it, it, you know, it sticks with you. But what I didn't know was how lengthy this man's resume was, because I only knew of him from being on a couple of shows and, you know, of course, being on The Young and the Restless. But I actually went to his Instagram page today and I was going through his uh, all his images and his videos. This guy has a very interesting, long resume. He's practically been acting all his life. I mean, this guy was practically a child actor that grew up to be an adult actor. Like I'm seeing him in television shows back in the early 70s. Now, mind you, this man was born in the 60s. He was only 52 years of age and he was doing shows in the 70s, which means he was doing shows since he was a little kid. He was probably fresh out of diapers. And when I was looking at some of the work that he had done, like on different sitcoms and whatnot, I was sitting there just laughing. I said, this guy's this, well, I can't say guy, but this kid's a natural. And I wonder if he knew how far he was actually going to go. Of course, I remember seeing him on a different world. He was on the Cosby show. He was even on this other this other soap opera back in the early 90s, I think it was called Generations and Vivica Fox was on that particular show. And I think they play each other's love interest or something to um something to that effect. No, I think they played relatives, something like that. I can't remember. But those of you who are old enough to remember know exactly what show I'm talking about. He was also I remember he was on an episode of Martin. He he did. He had a pretty lengthy career. He actually also won an Emmy for the role he played on The Young and the Restless. So he's an Emmy award winning actor. So and that's like one of the biggest accolades that a daytime star could get. But I'm sure that his co-workers over at the show CBS are going through it right now. 
Um, that would probably explain why he probably wasn't on the show as often, because I think he probably was seeking counseling and seeking all types of help and everything to cope, you know, with his his son's death, but also for himself. And, you know, when you get into that state of depression like that, there's only so much help that you can receive even from those that are close to you, let alone outside help like from a therapist. And he went into a dark place and, you know, secluded himself. And this was the end result. But, you know, is you know, he's definitely going to be missed because he was a very, very good actor. Like he had a lot of range. I wish he could have went even beyond being on The Young and the Restless, because I find that a lot of people who are soap stars usually get pigeonholed into being just that. And it's hard for them to branch out, mainly probably due to contract issue like um i guess you can say restraints it's very few that actually go far shamar moore who used to play on the young and the wrestlers with him because he played his brother is one of the few that can actually branch out or was able to branch out outside of that show and go on to be in movies and star on other television network shows but i offer my condolences to his family his friends um his daughters especially like you know they lost their dad luckily his daughters are practically grown now, so, you know, they can deal with it a little bit better. But then again, you never really know how people deal with death. Everyone mourns differently. Um, his co-workers over at The Young and the Restless, I know, like I said, I know they are probably going through it right now. Because that's not something you you want to wake up to and hear. Like when I, like I said, when I found this out, like that, that um, damn near hurt me. Because like I said, my mother and my grandmother watched the show, so... Y'all just let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.